we have here is a Ira Johnson Arms and Cycle Works. We'll try and look at that mark. Maybe we can get that more to come out. Maybe not. It's a nice, kind of a pretty mark. This is probably a champion model. There's not a lot of books on this kind of thing. Not a lot of research. Uh, probably made about 1902 to 1908. It's 12 gauge, two and three quarter inch chamber. It opens by pulling that um, ring. It's called sometimes called the ring opener and hammerless, semi-hammer, semi-hammer, because the hammer is a low profile hammer. But anyway, you see it fires, goes bang. Um, the lever right here, there's a little lock wheel right there. You, you roll that, you do that, unscrew it, and the barrel comes off with the forearm. It's kind of um, overbuilt and overcomplicated, I tend to want to cock it and put my finger here to fire it, which is obviously not going to work. You got to get in the habit of finding, you know, come up here and find a trigger and fire it. So anyway, it's interesting. It's a little bit rare, um, not valuable by any means, but certainly interesting. Not a bad looking gun. Let me fire it again for you. Cock it. Once again, open it up, you pull the ring, and sometimes the auto eject works and sometimes it does not. You saw it work the first time around. Anyway, it's a, um, like I said, Ivor Johnson Arms and Cycle Works in Fitchburg, Massachusetts, USA, about 1902 1908. Um, interesting, not rare, not valuable, but fun gun. Okay, thanks for watching.